Back in 2015, retired civil servant Jerry Paley started to feel and act differently. He was 59. If I get things, um, uh, I might have to go out somewhere to get a message and I couldn't remember what the message was. You'd be anxious about things as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd be worrying you know, about uh, certain things. But you would, tell, you would say more, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, um, I think Jerry kind of lost his uh, confidence, an awful lot of his confidence, and he also lost, uh, yeah, he just couldn't, uh, he wasn't able to, I would just say, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't sure of what he was doing anymore. Yeah, he was, uh, he was, he was making big mistakes, uh, doing, <coughs> doing things, uh, missing, missing kind of very logical stuff. Jerry was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia. The disease has no known cure. Existing medicines available in Europe can just help treat symptoms related to memory or behavior. The medication is doing well for me. I'm walking all the time with my dog and uh, outdoor all the time. So that's exercise is, is good. Jerry lives near Dublin, Ireland's capital. He's one of the some eight million EU citizens living in the labyrinth of dementia. This number is expected to almost double by 2050. With no cure at hand, patients can only rely on daily activities to try to improve their quality of life. This centre provides services to some 30 people living with dementia. People have the condition, they could live up to 25 years, so they want to have quality of life. We would always recommend that people see their consultant every six months and get a medical review. Uh, sometimes we can even see the need for that here and we would recommend people to return to their, um, their, their care team. The development of therapies which can prevent or slow the progression of dementia is an active area of research, with promising medicines currently in development. But relevant breakthroughs are still elusive. The European Commission has proposed a legal framework to encourage medicine developers to invest more into what's known as unmet medical needs, like Alzheimer's. The primary incentive is an additional six months of data protection for those products. Developers who deliver would also be eligible for strengthened scientific and regulatory support, explains from Brussels, the European Commissioner for Health. What we need to do ultimately is to support innovation because that will benefit patients with challenging diseases like Alzheimer and others and you need to make sure that um, uh, you're developing new medicines all the time. Once medicines are developed, the European Union should also ensure all patients can access them. Both the European Commission and experts agree. There's no point in us having these breakthroughs which are hopefully on the horizon and our health systems in Ireland and across Europe aren't ready because these drugs will be very expensive for people to access. So we need to start thinking now about how, how are we going to pay for them, how are we going to get our health systems ready and this work needs to start now. Jerry and Nula just hope this work will prove effective. I do feel that we, we do need to kind of uh, work on it a bit harder because it is a big problem. It's, it's, well, it's, I mean, costing, this, it's costing a lot of money yeah. to research and to get medication. Uh, and if and to keep people in in men in, in, in hospitals, yeah, you know. yeah. Um, but if it was um, diagnosed earlier, and which it should be, I mean, if, if you go to a doctor when you're a child and, and you're progressing, the, the doctor should be able to see something change in, in the person, and then can catch it early rather than let, let it happen when you get older. And it's too late then. All you're get, all you're doing is getting medication to keep yourself. Um, on a level, whereas if you got the medication, proper medication, you, you, you could be able to resolve the problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>